Not too many of us get a chance to visit the American Space Center, much less get a personal tour of Moscow's mission control. But adventure-seeking pilot John Proctor flew his single-engine plane across the icy Atlantic, over a stormy Baltic Sea, and into the immense expanse of Russia to visit what only a select few outsiders have seen, the Russian Space Center. We drove for about an hour in the rain to a secluded rural location somewhere outside of Moscow. My first impression of the Space Center was it was like a large college campus. A friendly Soviet officer met us and led us into a massive workroom. The entire length of the room was a mirror space station, a dead duplicate of what's currently in space. My Russian co-pilot, Viktor Smolin, and I discussed the complexity of getting this much hardware into orbit. This huge high-tech convoy is currently floating effortlessly in outer space home to cosmonauts for a year at a stretch. Knowing we were pilots, our congenial comrade gave us a special treat, a chance to fly a real Russian space capsule. But unfortunately, he didn't give us the keys. I kept thinking, this has to be an e-ticket ride. This is display information there. Now this is a Russian mixmaster. It's a centrifuge that spins a cosmonaut around at warp speed to get them used to the tug of gravity on liftoff. Next we were shown what the best dressed Soviet cosmonauts are wearing. This complex life support system sometimes relies on simplicity like the tiny shot bags on the back to adjust the weight of the cosmonaut to gravitational pull. Victor Smolin commented that he wished he had a gloves like this when we flew over the frigid Greenland ice cap. <laughs> For anyone who has had the chance to visit Houston Space Control, you're about to experience deja vu. Except for the conversations in Russian, we could easily have been in Houston. Technicians watched on large monitors as cosmonaut Sergei Kikerlov worked outside the Mirror Space Station, hundreds of kilometers above. Victor and I watched as the Mirror Space Station was being tracked on the big map. One of the most exciting moments was talking with a cosmonaut in space. Little known to me that Sergei Kikerlov would be the famous cosmonaut who would spend almost a year in space. Sergei, from all the pilots in the United States, I would like to say hello, and it is very nice to fly with your friend Victor. Thank you. <laughs> Good? You look in the window. With the weather, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's great. We're getting a first-hand weather report. Look out the window of this uh, spaceship and see what the weather's like when we're flying. The hardware is impressive, but the real high point of this trip is how friendly the Russian people are. When John Proctor visited the Russian Space Center, it was off limits to the casual tourist. But because of improved relations with our bear-hugging friends, you can now tour the famous Space Center the next time you decide to tour Moscow. We'll be right back with a home video adventure sent in by one of our Search for Adventure viewers. Shark hunting 
in the shallows of Tavarua. On every episode of Search for Adventure, we enjoy highlighting an unusual experience captured by one of our adventuresome viewers. Recently, Steve Soderberg and a pack of surfer pals traveled through the South Seas in search of super surf. One of the highlights of their trip through the Fiji Islands was the shark hunt of Tavarua Island. Tavarua Island is a picture postcard resort. We'd heard so many great things about this place that we were kind of full of apprehension. The first thing we saw was a native spearing some sharks for the village. So much for thinking that sharks are outside the surf line. Now that's what I call sushi. If you've recorded an adventure on your home video camera that you think we just couldn't live without, send it to Search for Adventure. Make sure that it's not risque though because this is a family show. And don't send your tape, just a letter describing your adventure. Now Dr. Watson makes all the selections and if he's in the right mood, well, Maybe your adventure will be on Search for Adventure. Adios, and remember, adventure is where you find it.